This video will demonstrate how to install the Leviton DOS02, DVS02, DOS05, and DVS05 Decora Occupancy and Vacancy Sensors. Motion sensors provide convenient hands-free switching and are useful in areas where you may enter a room with your hands full or in areas lights may be unintentionally left on. Please be certain to follow all wiring instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you are unsure about any part of the instructions, or if you are not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact an electrician. When installing and terminating this Leviton device, have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. Installation takes approximately 15 minutes. The process shown follows general guidelines. Local codes take precedence. It is important to note that the sensor may respond to temperature changes. Therefore, do not mount near a heat source, in a location where hot or cold drafts will blow directly on the sensor, or where unintended motion will be within the sensor's field of view. First. Turn off the circuit breaker, remove the switch plate, and unscrew the old device from the wall box. Carefully pull the device out until you clearly see the wires. Use the voltage tester to ensure that there is no power present in the box. Carefully disconnect all the wiring from the old device and remove it. Straighten and separate each wire so that you can clearly see them. Make sure that none of the exposed metal ends of the wires are touching each other. Here you will see two common wiring configurations, one with a neutral wire and one without a neutral wire. To start, you will need to identify the wires in the wall box to determine if you have a neutral wire present. The neutral wire is typically white and could be capped off with a wire connector in the wall box. These sensors can be wired using either a neutral or ground connection, based upon what wires are in your wall box. If the wiring in the wall box does not resemble either of these configurations, consult an electrician. First, we will demonstrate how to wire the sensor if there is no neutral wire present in the wall box. In this example, in the wall box there is a black wire which is the line or hot wire, a black wire which is the load wire, and a green or bare copper wire which is the ground. Keep in mind, the color of the wires can vary. The hot wire may be black or red. The ground wire could be green or bare copper. If you are unsure, contact an electrician. With your fingers, pull firmly on the insulation to remove the pre-stripped section on the product's leads. Do this for each lead wire. Next, twist the lead's exposed stranded copper wire in a clockwise direction to prepare it to be terminated. Begin by twisting the green and yellow ground lead wire and the green sleeve ground wire on the device to the ground wire in the wall box in a clockwise direction. Insert the twisted wires into a properly sized wire connector and continue twisting until the conductors bottom out and cannot be twisted further. Give the wires a tug to ensure they are firmly held in the wire connector and dress with electrical tape to ensure stability. Continue by connecting the black lead wires on the device to the black wires in the wall box. Note that the device is designed so the line and load wires can be wired interchangeably. If you are installing the DOS05 or DVS05, insert a wire connector to cap off the red and yellow wire, which is only used for a three-way connection. The device is now terminated. We will now demonstrate how to wire the sensor if a neutral wire is present in the wall box. Begin by removing the insulation from each of the lead wires on the device. Next, twist the green and yellow ground wire on the device to ground wire in the wall box in a clockwise direction. Insert the twisted wires into a properly sized wire connector and continue twisting until the conductors bottom out and cannot be twisted further. Give the wires a tug to ensure they are firmly held in the wire connector and dress with electrical tape to ensure stability. Next. Remove the green sleeve from the white wire on the product and connect to the white wire or wires in the wall box. Continue by connecting the black lead wires on the device to the black wires in the wall box. Note that the device is designed so the line and load wires can be wired interchangeably. 
If you are installing the DOS05 or DVS05, insert a wire connector to cap off the red and yellow wire, which is only used for a three-way connection. The device is now terminated. We will now test the device. Restore power at the circuit breaker or fuse. Wait 10 to 20 seconds for the sensor to power up. For the DOS02 and DOS05, the lights will automatically turn on with first motion seen after the warm-up period, or you can press the push pad. For the DVS02 and DVS05, press the push pad and the light should turn on. If the lights do not turn on, refer to the What to do if section of the instruction sheet. Now we will mount the device to complete the installation. Turn off power at the circuit breaker or fuse. Gently bend the wires and push them into the wall box. Screw the sensor into the wall box. Install the wall plate. Restore power at the circuit breaker or fuse. The default settings for the sensor are a 10-minute timeout timer, medium range field of view, and medium ambient light setting. If you want to change one of the settings, please refer to the product instruction sheet or the sensor settings programming video for detailed instruction. Your Leviton Decora occupancy or vacancy sensor is now ready for use.